Welcome to Yazencom channel. Today we will talk about one of the most popular instrument in the lab. And because one single run of this instrument is capable of giving you a lot of data and a lot of information about your samples and every metals on it, I am talking about ICB instrument inductively cabled plasma. A very unique instrument, high quality and really really fast. There are different models of ICB like atomic emission spectrometer, optical emission spectrometer, a mass spectrometer. But this video we will focus in general basic information of ICB instrument. This video is made it for the beginner users of ICB instrument and it's contain an introduction to ICB. We will understand what is plasma. Then we go through the sample introduction system which contain the sample the pristillatic pump, the nebulizer, separate chambers and waste container. After that we will talk about the plasma generation starting with the torch, the light up gas, the RF coil and the temperature. And finally we will talk about the detectors and data starting with the photons, signals and wavelength and the PMT. ICB is a shortcut for inductively coupled plasma. And in order to understand what is ICB, we need to understand what is plasma. Plasma is the fourth state of matter along with the solid, liquid and gas. A superheated matter, so hot that the electrons are ripped away from the atom forming an ionized gas. Sample introduction system, ICB samples to be acidified in a nitric acid and why nitric acid because it's very good at dissolving metals, also the lowest interference comparing to other acids, it produces a very strong stable solution that does not change for a long period of time. People commonly use 1 to 5% nitric acid, but better you refer to your standard method recommendation for the right percent of a nitric acid. Do the same for your plank and internal standards. Now let's learn about different parts of ICB instrument and we will start with the pristillatic pump. The pristillatic pump or a roller pump used to pump the liquid samples with the use of a flexible tubes in a rotary motion from sample container to nebulizer or from the separate chamber to the waste container. A second part of ICB instrument is a nebulizer and it's look like the one it shows in the pictures. In the nebulizer, high velocity argon gas break up the liquid samples into a fine aerosols and deliver it to the separate chamber. The sample from the nebulizer will be received in the separate chamber. The fine and small droplets will continue up to the plasma and the large droplets will go down to the waste container. Now to the plasma generation and we start with the torch. The torch consists of a three concentric quartz tubes surrounded at the top by a radio frequency induction coil. The plasma formation is initiated by a spark from a Tesla coil. The sample is mixed with the stream of argon gas using a nebulizer and carried to the plasma through the torch central capillary tube. The RF coils create a magnetic field that make the argon ions and the electron to move in a circular path. The base of the plasma got a temperature about 10,000 Kelvin and above the coil is about 6000 to 8000 and there where the emission measured. The outer quartz tubes must be thermally isolated from the plasma and that is another job for the argon gas. Finally detectors and data. The story began with the aerosol produced via nebulization that is enter the high temperature plasma where it is first dried to a solid and then heat it to a gas and that is atomization. This atom will continue to travel through the plasma absorbing energy until they release an electron and becoming ionized. This is ionization and this is the excited state. 
When these ions travel back to the ground state, it emitted light or photons. Every element have a characterized wavelength or energy. If you have many wavelengths, the spectrometer will turn the polychromatic radiation to monochromatic radiation. And this wavelength intensity will be measured by the detector, the BMT, which is the photomultiplier tube. Then it will be converted to electrical signal and capture as a concentration unit in your computer. Here we reach to the end of today's video. If you would like to receive our latest video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like and share those videos with your friends. See you next time.